Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and welcome to more Let's Play Final Fantasy VI! We are in the Narsh Mines, uh, escaping with Terra, and we should get back to the escaping thing. One thing you'll notice immediately is that we don't have our fancy armor anymore. We still have our magic, but we are gonna probably not be trying to use that. What we can do is hit things with a sword. I told you those things were really weak. Uh, the bandit, on the other hand, is going to pose a slightly larger problem for us, I think. Oh, and then he kills himself. That That's helpful. Anyway, there's something very important to know about this relatively small area. There's a save point here, but also something else. Save. There are two boxes in this area. One of them is well. It would be on the. It's on the ledge. Excuse me. Coming up, we'd be able to see it right now if these assholes hadn't interrupted us. But you'll see it in a sec. Just as soon as I kill a bandit. And dead. Huzzah! And we got to level 5. You see, I knew that wouldn't be any problem. Yeah, on the ledge up here, there's a box. And there's one more later on, so I'm here to tell you now. Do not open these boxes. Right now, they have a phoenix down and, uh... I don't remember what's in the other one. It's, it's a consu- it's a low-level consumable, though. If we wait until to open these boxes, they will the items inside of them will eventually change to something far better than what's in them now. We want the things later on because they are way better things. So, so needless to say we'll be coming back later for those things, but well that's later. In the meantime, don't open them. Nothing over here, although that wall looked a little funny. And a s surrounded. Hmm. We should actually probably heal. Let's use some magic then. Magic. Got cure. Always the biggest staple of any spell in any game. Or its variations in any case. I wonder... Nope, that doesn't work in this game. Well, it was worth a shot. Actually, it might have worked had we not been in the middle. Hmm, something to consider, I suppose. Anyway, we'll head up here. There she is. Uh oh. Looks like we're surrounded. And then we fell down a hole. Oh, well. Looks like we're dead again. Oh? My sweet little magic user! <laughs> With this slave crown, you'll be all mine! So, who's Kefka? Someone nasty enough to enslave Terra and have her kill soldiers, it seems. <laughs> Good job! Burn them all to a crisp!
Who's this guy? And it's be guess alt. Really? Really? You name you actually named the whole empire after yourself? Talk about Ego Egoopolis. Uh, anyway, soldiers of the Empire, we stand at the dawn of a new age. The lost power of magic has returned to us. We are the chosen ones. The time has come for us to claim our rightful dominion over the world. Nothing shall stand in our way. Huzzah! Long live Emperor Gazalt! Long live the Emperor! Ha! Hail Fuhrer. <laughs> Pretty much. Gee, this looks a little familiar. Where have I seen this before? Uh, and then we were back to the dying. <laughs> Or not. How many times can Dare can Terra die in this game anyway? I mean, we're on the second episode and it's already happened twice. Took you long enough. Busy with all the robbing and plundering, I presume. A treasure hunter and trailborn traveler, searching the world for relics of the past. I prefer the term treasure hunting. You would. You would. Ha! <laughs> Semantic nonsense. There's a huge difference! Keep telling yourself that, dude. Keep telling yourself that. So, I like how he has a this big bandana in his portrait, but only a headband in his sprite. Just, you know, because those can't match up or anything. Uh, anyway. Is there anything you need me to do? There is indeed. I met the girl. <gasps> you don't mean... The city guard is pursuing her as we speak. This city has a strength to stand up to the Empire, but it won't use it. The people are just too stubbornly independent to join an underground resistance group like the Returners. I tried to explain that the Empire was controlling the girl, but they wouldn't even listen. Alright, so you want me to get her out of Narsh? That would be the idea. Make your way to Figaro for the time being. And... Lock to the rescue! Now we got her! Wonderful. There's a whole bunch of them. Kubo! Kubo, 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 Kubo! It's Moogles! Completely out of nowhere. Go figure. Moogles, are you saying you want to help? Kubo! I'll take that as a yes. Um. Yep. Okay. I don't need the explanation, I'll explain it for you. Basically, basically, we have three groups to control. One of them is Locke here, who we're gonna put here, and two of them are Moogles. And we control these each one separately, and there's dudes down here that if they run into any group, they'll have a battle with that group of characters. Uh, this is probably where the Fort Condor minigame in Final Fantasy VII originally came from. In this case, we change characters using the select button. Um, now, I want to get 
at least... Well, I guess we're doing this first, but... Moogles! Moxie, and Mogwin, and Mug, Mug, and Cosmog. I really wish I had a boomerang like that. Um, anyway. Each Moogle is a little bit different, but there's one thing in particular we want to do. We want to make sure we get in at least one battle with this guy. The reason being, this group has Mog, Molulu, Mog Han, and Mogul. And none of them can do anything special right now. But... But... Once we kill these guys... And get earn some experience... We master a new dance, which only one of these Moogles, I'll let you guess which one, can do this. And some dances, the way dances work, uh, I'll, it's not something that's going to be relevant for quite a while, but basically, you can only learn dances, by the way, Treasure Hunter powers activate. Um, <laughs> You can only learn dances by getting battles on certain terrain types, and some terrain types are very rare. In this case, this is the best opportunity to, to learn the dance we just learned. Which, you know, again, isn't really immediately relevant, but will be eventually when we get the when we earn the character who actually has dances. And spoiler alert, it was Mog. Let's use that dance speed to turn. Let's see what it does. Uh-oh. Snare? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Anywho, let's switch back to Locke. Because I want to use Locke for this stuff mostly, as he will... Excuse me, him getting experience is most relevant. Plus also, plus also, he has the Treasure Hunter ability, Steal. Yeah, try to justify that one, dude. Uh, which I'm not having much luck with, unfortunately. But... Most of the stuff in here you can steal potions from. Which is more useful than it sounds. Let's, let's put it that way. We want at least a certain number of potions... For... After we finish this sequence. Because we're going to use them to heal up. And I've managed to just not get any of them. Uh, well, maybe I ha earned enough in the sequence with Biggs and Wedge. Maybe. Hopefully, actually. Uh... Really? Okay, well that's- that's- that's bad. That's- that's actually really bad. <laughs> I may have just sabotaged myself. Um, I don't have the Phoenix down, do I? Nope. Huh. This was unexpected. I sort of needed him to be alive so I could use him against the guy down here. As I wanted to steal something from him. Uh, but you know what? It wasn't that important. It wasn't. It would have saved... The end result would have been saving around 300 gil. And it would have been nice in the short term, but it was not necessary. So we'll fight him with Mog instead. 
And boss music! The guard leader! Uh, ooh, Mogulu is almost dead. Um. Okay, so. The guard leader, you can steal a mithril dagger from him. Which we can buy in the next town. I didn't really want to buy it. But. It's not a huge deal having to do so. Because it's only 300 gil, uh, give or take. I think it might, it might be a little bit more, or it might be a little bit less, but it's in that vicinity. So, you know, it, it's sort of an oh well, big deal situation. Uh, it will be a big deal actually if it KOs this party though. Shield power! Oh, which reminds me actually, you can actually steal the shield from Mog here. Which I obviously didn't do. Maybe I should have. But it's it's not that big of a deal to me, to be honest. You can't steal equipment from any of the other Moogles, but you can steal the shield from Mog. Or at least I don't think you can steal those shields from any other Moogles. I could be mistaken. Thanks, Moogles, we're in your debt. And we run straight out of here. This switch ought to... How convenient. Eh? You're back with us now? You saved me? Saved you, thanks for- Saver, thanks for the Moogles. Ah, uh, I can't remember a thing. It's like my mind's trapped in a fog. You lost your memory? A man said it would come back eventually. So, you've got amnesia. Well, not really. But, I d any anyway, let let's not get hung up on that again. Don't worry, you won't- er, I won't leave your side until your memory returns. I'm not gonna up and abandon someone just because they lost their memory. I'll keep you safe, I promise. So, this raises the question. Okay, so, I don't think we can go into town. Yep, we cannot. It's not safe here, we better hightail it south of Fi to Figaro. Uh, however, okay, we got healed, that's good. However, we can go into this building here. And you should. This is a school for beginning adventurers. Despite all of our recent advances in technology, the outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here, we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. Indeed they do. And... Well, I'm not really interested in their adv their advice, to be honest. But, they have a free healing point. And, if I can find it... They also have boxes! Like a potion, whoop de do. Um... Also, besides that potion, there should also be one more thing, I think. Um... If I can just, right there. Sleeping bag. And we may as well check the other room as well. But yeah, you can talk to all these guys and they tell you just about everything there is to know about about all the different battle mechanics. And some field stuff as well, like a save point. Which is actually functional. Uh... Oh. 
It, it was a trap. It's a tarp! It's dead. Yep. Be careful, sometimes monsters lurk inside. I should have probably listened. I, I guess that is a thing in this game, though. Whatever. Whatever! Anyway, I was just in there for the treasure, to be honest. Um, if you're playing this on your own and you aren't familiar with the game, I highly recommend talking to some of those people. I don't need to, though, so I'm not going to, so let's leave. And just like that, we're on the world map. Didn't take very long, did it? So, let's see. We have this nice mini-map here, which we can bring up and down with the select button. And I believe we want to go this way. Also, we're fighting stuff. Scary stuff. Not really. Um, well, we are, however, we are going to do a little bit of overkill, I think. In the way of fire. Which, you can change their targeting by just uh, hitting the shoulder buttons to hit target everyone. Fire! Oh, really? That's a little disappointing. I thought for sure that would trigger a in-battle script. Well, whatever. It's not important. I guess it'll come up later. Cause, you know, it's sort of a big deal that we can use magic. Anyway... Anyway, we want to actually just go into a desert already? That seems kind of fishy, but it's actually the case. Hopefully we aren't killed by desert monsters, because you know that happens with alarming regularity. Uh... Okay, that didn't actually kill it. That's a little bit disconcerting. Perhaps... I should actually... Ew. Okay, the good news is they don't deal too much damage. The bad news is they have like... A hundred or so life. Which... Isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things, but at our early point in the game... Is kind of tricky to hit through. Incidentally, I just want to point this out. We just got 286 gold gil, I think. Which is not very much, but I just wanted to point that out because as I said before, the Mithril Dagger would have only cost it's only going to cost us around 300. So it wasn't a big loss to miss. That said, it what it would have done was making walking here a lot easier because it would have made lock obviously hit harder. Um, let's use a potion on Terra. And, by the way, nope. So, what we're looking for is the little white dot on the map. This castle, right here. This is... Well, you'll just have to see next time, because I'm gonna stop. Ha! I do that sometimes, don't I? In any case, until next time... This has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VI with Chaos Baloo, and have a good day.